I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. Let's ride this wind current, shall we? Leave it to me. for a little shock. It's an electro monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Come a little closer. Get To wet enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. for a little shock. between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding, 
You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. Vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East. Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds... hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. 